chant to the bone. Chant to the bone. This is my office. I keep it decorated with memorabilia from a few of my favorite movies. Reuben and Ed, a movie about two Republicans trying to bury a dead cat. The Wizard of Oz? I think it's about the collapse of the populist movement, but that's debatable. Lots of Mad Max stuff, Funko Pops, Nux's bobblehead, what's left of my Doof Warrior t-shirt, and this poster I stole after a screening we saw at Mass Mocha. Brigsby Bear, this one's a hidden gem, you should definitely watch it. And Dead Man, one of my favorite movies of all time. But what I wanted to show you was this print that I just got. It was one of those random late night depression purchases. I also want to talk about the 1994 movie, Clerks. A movie about a day in the lives of two convenience store clerks, loosely based on Dante's Inferno and the Nine Circles of Hell. The print is signed by the artist, Timothy Doyle, and it's number 83 of 100. Clerks is one of my favorite comfort movies. I've watched it countless times and sometimes I'll just have it on while I'm cleaning the house or whatever. But it was really relatable to me when it came out because I was working at a convenience store at the time. Here. Here, this is the store that I worked at, and at the time it was a mom and pop called Jasper's. And admittedly, it was a very depraved, irresponsible time in my life, but I made a lot of lifelong friends, so no regrets. Oh, and I hit a time capsule on the ceiling, but the very thought of going in and trying to find it kind of gives me a stomachache, so... So, opening night of Clerks. I get out of work and I went to a late night screening with a few of my coworkers. And the only place it was playing was in Hartford, across the street from a sewage treatment plant. So it smelled really bad. And even the theater, the whole theater smelled like sewage. But we endured the smell. We thoroughly enjoyed the movie. And then something happened afterwards. But I shouldn't tell this story. Hold on. This is my friend Scott. Scott, tell the good people the story of what happened to us on the, white, on the ride home from Clerks. Okay, um, to make a long story short, um, you try to commit murder against our friend Dan by arson, pyromania, negligence, and um, a fair bit of cowardice. But mostly arson. Okay, so maybe another story. I used to have this porcelain rabbit, and he was dressed as a cowboy, and I would send him all over the world, and he would come back to me with photographs. So, one time we're driving through New Jersey, and we took a 45 minute detour just to get a picture of this rabbit in front of the quick stop. And I remember how weird it was how this convenience store somehow held celebrity status. And this thought came to me when I went inside and I realized I was trying to play it cool. So I just walked around the aisles and then I bought a Pepsi and I left. And that was it. That's beautiful, man. I can't say for certain until we get him back to the lab, but my guess is he was masturbating, his heart seized, and he died. Oh, look at you! You can't even pass! What did you like better? Jedi or the Empire Strikes Back? My love for you is like a truck bouncer! You're closed.